Hello and welcome to Gemini Soul Tarot. How are you, Libra? Libra, this is a love reading for you guys. Whenever you're drawn to this message, that is when I feel the message is for you. I do put dates on my messages because, you know, that's what YouTube acts and a lot of people like to see that. But I do believe that when you're drawn to the message, it is for you. It may not resonate with all you Libras, and that is pers perfectly fine. Throw it out to the universe, to someone who can use it. If it does resonate, I just ask that you subscribe, hit the notification button, definitely give me a thumbs up on the way out, and share any information, Libra, that you may have in regards to what your journey looks like as a Libra at this time. So, that card wants to jump out right away before I even ask any questions, and the universe is telling me to take it. Libra, this is a love reading. This first question before I could even ask it is who, is who loves you, okay? So this is the person that you came to this reading about, um, and the person that you came to this reading about, uh, starting out with the nine of swords. This is anxiety. This is, could be heartbreak. Um, this person is feeling like Libra. They just feeling like they don't know what direction to go. Whether this is just not sure of the way you feel about them or maybe there's some things in the past, Libra, that have happened, heartbreak, or they've had other commitments that didn't work out well. I'm also feeling, y'all always stay to the end of the reading because I get so many messages. So I do have a Queen of Cups under the bottom. So... I get so many messages, so you may miss something in the message if you do not stay to the end because I can connect with so many different Libras. You know, it's not meant for you to just have one um, person's energy. Sometimes someone else's energy come in, you know, another Libra. You know, it just depends on the direction that the divine sends me with these uh, guided spiritual talks with you guys i just okay and I, what i'm seeing right now is also libra someone having sleepless nights about their fear that they may lose you right um that maybe you don't feel the same way about them um and for this person it's a tower moment all right i'm also feeling libra that this person could have had a tower moment uh, perhaps you found out some information um, and you walked away from this person. But if you walked away from this person, Libra, because of third party cheating or just feeling like things didn't work out, um, what I'm saying, Libra, if you walked away from this person because of third party, and that's just coming through, this person is having a tower moment. This person is having sleepless nights. They are staying up in their head about what happened, about how things could have been dealt with differently. Um, it could have been family and friends that came in between this relationship. Or Libra, I'm feeling like you might have just got up and said enough is enough. Uh, you're not showing me that you want to commit or you want to put in your share in this relationship. You're not showing me that you truly care and love me. And you decided to walk away. And if this is that Libra that walked away from this commitment, long-term relationship, could have been a marriage. This person is really up in their head about you, Libra. They're having sleepless nights. That was a tower moment for them because they truly did not believe you would walk away from this relationship. Whatever um, things that you allow to happen in this relationship, I'm feeling like it could have been going on for quite some time. Could have been nine years, nine months. Um, but whatever it was, they had, they just didn't believe that you would walk away from this relationship like you did. 
or that you will pull your energy back. <clears throat> I'm also feeling there's some Libra out there, again, like I said in the first round, there is some information, Libra, that you need to know in regards to this relationship with this person, and they are having a tower moment on how to come forth and tell you this information. Now, it could definitely be someone having a tower moment that has been through some relationships in the past that didn't work out. They did not plan to get in a relationship and be serious. They've been guarded and they hard because they've been healing and they've just been focusing on them. And Libra, you have come into their life and they have realized under the bottom, um, the Queen of Cups, that they truly have feelings for you that they are in love with you or they realize that your love is true and that they are having these this tower moment of sleepless nights like this person really truly does love me what do i do and they're having a tower moment if they've been guarded all this time and you are now yes because after that oh my goodness Libra, this turn from just being in this anxiety seems to be someone, your person, either has these feelings for you, because I ask, who loves you? So, this person tower moment is because they love you. Because they want to build with you. You are their happiness. It could have been someone that came back you was dealing with in the past. Or you just have this childlike energy. Or you feel like it's a soulmate. And also. Oh my God. Wait a minute. What the messages? Hold on, hold on, Libra. This is beautiful, Libra. If you want to know how this person feels about you, this person would love to have a family and build a firm foundation with you, even if it's not including kids. If it is mending kids, uh, uh, two families together, they just... This doesn't get any better. This doesn't get any better. I mean, I didn't even have the opportunity to pull the cards. I, I got my spread here, but if I continue to tell you what my spread says, and I'm going to do that. The next question I was going to ask the spirit is, why do they love you? <laughs> because they love you, right? Because they want a firm foundation. They want commitment with you. Because they want to build with you. Why do they love you? Because you make them happy. Because they see themselves spending that life with you. Now, for some of you Libras, this is a single Libra. They don't want you to be this nine of pentacles out there single anymore. And that's because you got, look, you got the higher front under that. They do not want this for you to be single. They want to be married. They want to be with you. They want to claim you. They want to show up for this connection. I'm also hearing too somewhere, Libra, that they may feel that you could be in your head because maybe you've had some bad connections in the past. And they're afraid you may not take this offer, that you may not want what they want. But they see it clearly what they want with you, Libra. And that's for you not to be single, to... And I'm feeling like they just want you to love them back. They just want you to know that the love they have for you and what they want to build with you and how you make them feel is original. That your energies match. That they see. And they do see that you're single. And I'm feeling this is connection to either you, Libra, or this person you're dealing with, both. That you guys are single, but they feel that you're better together. 
right? And they don't want you out there single, male or female. It doesn't make a difference. They are offering a commitment, marriage. They are trying to move towards you in marriage because they see nothing but prosperity and abundance and joy in this relationship. It started out where I was like, oh my goodness, what is going on? But this is a tower moment that this person is having because they realize they're willing to give it all up for you, Libra. Now, yeah, they having sleepless nights and anxiety, and I'm feeling that the reason they're having that is because of the relationships that they've had in the past that might didn't work out, or they know that you have dealt with relationships in the past and you may not be giving this a chance and opportunity to move forward in this direction. But from what I'm saying, seeing Libra, you need to just uh, jump on that train and move forward because this person wants it all with you. Now, of course, energies could be vice versa, but I am asking for the energies of the person that Libra showed up here for. And if this is not happening and this is not going on right now and you just had, um, you've been, Libra, you've been uh, offered an offer and you're in your head about it and you're not sure, here's your answer. If you feel it's right but you're afraid to step out and try this again, here's your answer. And if someone has pulled back from you and saying like, you know, I just need a little time or uh, I don't think that it's, it's because they're realizing how, especially if you know, now this is only if you know that in the past their heart has been broken or that in the past relationships hasn't worked out and they've told you, well, I just kind of been single on my own trying to find that perfect soulmate, that energy that matches me. If that is a conversation that you had, Libra, with this person, that person has pulled back because they have feelings for you, they want you, they want to build with you, and you make them happy. And they no longer want to be single, and they're trying to work these things out. So that may be why they pull the energy back. And you know, sometimes, you know, not just because people pull their energy back, don't assume they're out here running around, playing around or whatever. Man, people works on themselves, right? When it's a soulmate and divinely guided, that's what has to happen. You have to pull your energy back and ensure that this is what you want because you can't play with the divine. If he sends in something you manifest or something is for you, you need to ensure that this is the path and the journey you want to be on because you don't want to create karma playing games. So you have to give people that space to pull their energies back to heal. And I'm not saying that's with all because, you know, you could have, some lower vibe uh, Libras that say they need their space and they running about with every Tom, Dick, and Harry. I don't know. And and <laughs> every Tom, Dick, and Harry and every Sue, Lou, and whatever. Y'all know what I mean. But the point is, this is a beautiful reading. This is for the Libras that truly have been feeling feelings, been through some things. This person is either coming in your life or already in your life, okay? This is a person that all I'm feeling, this is someone you already know, or this is going to come in so fast that it's going to be a tower for the next person that meets you, Libra, because they're going to see how beautiful and loving you are, and they are going to want to build with you immediately because you are going to make them happy or feel so happy within themselves. They're going to see that you're single, not even understand why you're single, and they're going to take this opportunity to pull this relationship together. Now, the problem is, is that the fact it's going to happen so fast is going to be a tower moment. That is what I'm feeling, Libra, okay? Let me just, let's, I couldn't even get the rest of the question. What is the, what will be the challenge in this relationship? Death. Death. You know what that means? You could be dealing with a Scorpio, but I feel that, Libra, this is you putting a death up to the old way. The old situations, the old energies 
of relationships not working out, right? And then you got to put a death to these sleepless nights, except this is a good towel. Well, I tell you guys, all towels are not a bad towel. Yes, the magi didn't I just tell you if you manifest this? You got to pull your energy back to ensure this is what you want because you don't want no karma messing with the divine. When they send you somebody, you have to show up for the connection. They have to show up for the connection. And when you manifest something and it comes in, you better be prepared. Now, Libra, I sure hope this isn't you manifesting and now you up in your head having a tower moment because this is coming in so fast and you having doubts. Don't uh uh. Then you got the eight of swords under uh, the eight of swords under there, feeling like you trapped and you don't know which way to go after you didn't manifest something in. You don't do that, Libra. Feeling this is all an illusion, seven of cups. That this ain't real. It is real. You know why? Because now you got the nine of cups. This was your wish fulfillment, and the spirit is saying, Queen of Wands, move forward. And all the beauty that you are. Emperor, Empress, King, Queen. It don't make a difference. Two queens, two kings. I don't care who you are. The universe is saying this is something you manifest and you need to show up for it. Get fired up and move forward because the universe has brought this into you. Get out of your head, especially if it's you, Libra. And if it is the person you're dealing with, Libra, first of all, this is your person. They tower moment is the fact that they found you. On your part, Libra, you manifest this person. Now they may be struggling with the fact that they all they are completely insane in love with you is what I'm feeling. That they feel the passion so strong and all they see is like uh, a journey of love and happiness with you. They see commitment. They see you building. They see you working together. They see you understanding them. Accepting them for who they are. And that is what's making them want to build with you because you make them happy. And they don't want to lose this opportunity to get you, to have you, rather. And they're working on trying to get out of their head and seeing things clearly, death. But because the universe is sending it in, that's, that's going to be the end of that toxic. Don't worry about that. They're going to come back. They'll be there or they're already there and you need to be there for them. On your part, Libra, you manifest this. And it, it, now this is other Libras. Now you get in where you fit in. But this Libra right here, I got some news for you. If you manifest this in, right? Because this is a magician and I just said you manifest this. If you have manifest this in and you are sitting up there talking about, but it all, and this is you, oh, it all comes so fast as you're up in your head having sleepless nights, having this tower moment, thinking you are uh, not sure. This may be a trick from the universe. This is an illusion. The universe is saying it is not. This is your nine of cup, your wish fulfillment, and you need to move forward in that. Male or female, it doesn't make a difference. You know why? Because now... You have the Ace of Pentacles. The universe is giving you this. This is a fresh new beginning. Not only is it love, but you are going to be abundant. Um, that this, this path, that, that leads to abundance with this person. Yes, you got it may start slow and you got to build, but put the universe is saying put the work in. Seven of pentacles of this ace of pentacles makes it eight, but this one pentacle is like a ten of pentacles. This is a fresh new beginning. Okay? So, you going from as far as I'm concerned as a reader, you going from the seven of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. Okay? And that's family, commitment, love, everything. Get out of your head about this situation, okay? Because you need to put the work in and begin to work on this. Spirit, what is... I don't really even... I don't even know what else to say. This is pretty... What is the potential outcome for Libra and their person? 
really? <laughs> oh my God, really, Libra? Ah, 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 ah. Oh, they're like Chondracula or some six. <laughs> you know, six, you already have it. It's twice. Man, look at the smile on them kids' face. Look at the happiness. And this definitely could be a soulmate. Like this, man, Libra, I'm feeling like this person just lights up your day, make you feel great inside, you know. And even if you are in your head or that person is in your head, don't. This is the, the universe. This will be the potential outcome, happiness, love, soulmate. That's a soulmate. Right? And I'm not telling you, okay, you probably Gemini soul. You mean tell me everything's gonna be absolutely not? Anything worth having is worth working for. But I promise you this, Libra, it won't be like the relationships you had in the past. Nothing is a hundred percent, okay? But take the lessons that you learn in the last relationships where you have may not have given enough or you've given too much. And this person may have in the past relationships given too much or not given enough. If it is a soulmate and it is godly, divinely guided towards you and this is what you manifest. I can't help but keep going back to the magician. This is what you ask for or you are what they manifest. You don't have to worry about all of the ins and outs. You let the universe handle of that. What you need to do is just ensure you're not up in your head and stopping yourself from getting this victory in love with this person, Libra. Now, I don't know. And then you have the ace of wands under the bottom. Y'all got, come on. You got the sun card. You got the four of wands. Could be twin flame. I don't know, but that's just, to me, I'm not really into twin flames. I believe in soulmates. But and it's not that I don't believe in twin flames because I don't want nobody down there saying how could look. This is my channel, okay? So let me get back to this. We're not gonna get in that type of energy. I believe in a firm foundation, family, love, and commitment. Whether the kids are involved or not, two people, uh, you always gonna have outside influences, families and friends, right? So that's what I look at the eleven eleven card. I look at it as a firm foundation with two people coming together with two energies that match and the universe brought them together, divinely guided, and that's it, okay? That's how I feel about the 1111 card. Anyway, we have love. We have the sun card, which is the happiest card in the deck. You know, we have a somebody either being proposed to or no longer being single, moving in, having a commitment uh, and building. The universe is putting it there because they're going to be working on it and y'all going to be so successful. So you got the... You know, you got that foundation, so you ain't lacking on no money, right? Both of you independently, this is work you did on each other. So both of you are bringing pinnacles to the table. Well, when you put them together, you got the ten of pinnacles. Like, you know, money is not going to be an issue for you. Just, just know that, okay? When you get through building and showing up for this connection, you're going to be godly divine to make a whole new adventure, a new path where... Uh, stability and abundance will be coming in, but you have to make that choice. I see somebody going in just thanking the universe like, I didn't never think I'd get here, but I need to rest and just say thank you for getting past the heartbreaks, the understanding, the lessons that I learned in the past. You're just basically sitting here just just thanking them for this person coming into your life. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading. So, I mean, and it's manifest either by the both of you, right? Because you got two six of cups. Both of you could have been manifesting this love, right? I mean, could have been manifesting this energy, this love coming together, this connection. And whatever it is, the universe has come in and give it to you. You just got to be fired up. Know some things you know you have to work on. And, you know, no relationship is perfect. But I promise you it won't be as hard as the ones you had in the past that was toxic, deceiving, deceptive, lying, not showing up, feeling you got to uh, compete for people's energies and love and for them to see you and see your worth and all Libra, you're not gonna have to go through all that in this relationship i promise you that for the ones that are resonating with this please give me a comment down below and let me know 
where you at? Has this person come in? Have you been in your head about it? Has that person been in their head about it? Or you already have this beautiful commitment that just started and feel that it is a soulmate and you manifest this person into your life? I need to know. The name of this reading is, I, I'm, I feel that, you know, I know you put names of readings out there that just says you have it all. But this reading definitely says, I have found my soulmate. This is my happiness. Something of that sort, okay? Because you have, and I'm feeling like both of you guys might have manifest each other. I'm just going on and on. I said I was not going to try to have these readings too long. Um, but let's just take a look, Libra, and who you may be dealing with here, okay? Hope y'all can see these cards. I've noticed that I've been getting out of frame lately, guys, because, you know, I get so into it. Sometimes I just don't pay attention. But look, you get the message, right? So that's all this. That's what you come to the reading for the message. Okay. And y'all don't think I just be trying to get on people or tell people. I just do what the spirit guys shows me and tell me to say. So I love y'all all. I love you, Libra. Thank you so much for the support, being a subscriber, sharing, comment. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for giving a thumbs up. It helps the channel to grow. And I do wish you love and light all the time. Okay. If it is a water, I can even get it out. The sun. <sighs> See, y'all know this cannot, this cannot be made up, Libra. If you're dealing with a water sign of sun, I'm not even going to say anything else. You know what that means. Look, seven of cups is for fire, okay? It's still, we have that seven of cups here. Don't think it's an illusion. It's not real. Do not let, uh, you know, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Don't let, don't think it's an illusion. I already talked about that, so I'm not going to do it again. That is a waste of time. You should have heard the whole reading. If you didn't hear what I said about that seven of cups, back, back, or start over, whatever. Air sign, the wheel of fortune. Really? <sighs> I don't know where I got Libra in my chart. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a Gemini, but you Libra, come on now. Libra says, oh, it's a ten. I cannot. I, Okay. I will be checking my natal chart as soon as this reading is over. <laughs> okay. Yes. And then under the bottom, we ain't even going to worry about that hangman. You know, because I think that's where you were sitting before this reading started. The hangman, not sure which direction to go. But I think after this reading, I think you up on your high horse. You texting. You calling right. Well, yeah. What you doing? Let's go to dinner. We going to the movies. Let's go to the beach. Everything's opening up. Uh, you out there, let's go shopping. Let's, you know, let's go look at that house you was talking about. You know, your mindset has changed. You up in there getting all fresh, taking a shower, bath, doing the cut shaves. You know, I almost said, you know, that man thing, but I ain't going to do that. You know, I'm trying to keep it as clean as possible around these corridors. <laughs> okay. So, uh Go ahead, Libra. Please give me a thumbs up, even if you just enjoyed the energy and the outcome and you want to manifest this yourself because manifestation is when you put it out there and you claim it and this is what you want in your life. Claim it, put it out there so the universe can hear it. Uh, Libra, I wish you, I really don't. I mean, I wish you the best love and light in this, but it seems like you got control of this. Bye, Libra.